Hey guys, Kasan Frali here. In this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a multi-step or multi-page form using Forminator WordPress plugin. Now you can create the multi-step or multi-page form with the free version of the Forminator plugin. That is a really cool thing because uh, the other plugins that I know requires you to purchase their premium or the pro version in order to create the multi-step forms. So if you want to learn that how you can create the multi-step forms using the free plugin like Forminator, then without further ado, Let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to the plugin section of your WordPress website and in here make sure you have this Forminator plugin installed here. Once you will install and activate the plugin, you will see an option here that will say Forminator. So if you will click here, if you will click on this forms, in here you can click on this create button. And we'll create the multi-step form from scratch so we'll choose blank here and then we'll click continue in here you can type in the name of the form so multi-step form demo form demo i'll hit create button here and once you will hit create this window will appear in here you can type in all the fields that you want in your form so let's start with some fields Let's start with the name field first. So I'll insert the field here. In here, you can choose the label of the field. So I want to use name. I don't want any placeholders. You also have option to use multiple uh, fields inside of your name field that can be prefix, first name, middle name, last name. So maybe we can go with first name and last name here. And then I want to remove the placeholders from here. So I'll get rid of these placeholders. And then I'll hit apply here. And once again, I'll click on this insert field. This time I want to insert the email field. So again, from here, I want to get rid of this placeholder and then I'll click apply. Now I want to insert the phone field. So let's get rid of placeholder there as well. This time I want to insert the address field. So in the address field, you have multiple options. You can choose address, apartment, city, street, or province, zip or postal code and country. Let's use all of these fields, but I want to get rid of these placeholders that we have. So just get rid of all the placeholders. And that's it. I'll hit apply. Now these are the contact details. Now let's insert the step here. So for that, we'll use this page break here. So I'll use page break. I'll hit insert field. And you will notice this page break here and then we have this new option pagination here so click on this pagination you will now we have only one page so we can change the title of this page to something like contact details and then we'll hit apply this time let's insert a new field so the every field that we'll create will go to the next page or the next step in the form so let's create a new field so this time let's insert this website field so I want to label it as your website. I'll remove the placeholder. I'll hit apply. Let's choose another field. This time I want to use these checkboxes. So I'll hit insert field. And the label I want to type in choose service type. That can be B2B lead generation. B2B appointment setting. You can use this add option here to insert more fields here so that can be group insurance lead generation we'll use another option here i'll say any other type of lead generation all right then i'll hit apply here then once again if i click on this setting and click on this edit field if i switch to this setting tab in this layout tab you can choose between vertical and horizontal so let's use this horizontal option here and i'll click apply here let's insert one more field here and this time i want to insert this input field and i want to title is as name of your business i'll hit apply and one more field i want to add that is going to be your position 
I want to get rid of this placeholder from here. I'll hit apply here. All right. Now we have two steps here in the form. For this finish, I want to change it to service details and I'll hit apply here. Okay. Once you are satisfied, click on this appearance tab and in, in this appearance tab, you can choose the design style. So you have this default style. You can choose flat, bold or material style. So I want to use this material style for now. And if you want to create your own style, you can use this color tab here. You can adjust your colors and you can choose this font tab to change the font on any of the form fields or the submit button. And you can play around with this form container and the other options that they have available here. So for now, I'll hit preview button here. And here you can see we have this contact details and then we have the services details. Here we have all the contact details that I have added in the form. And in here we'll have these services details that I have inserted. Okay, I want to change the title of the submit button to instead of submit message, I want to change it to submit. And I'll hit apply. I'll hit publish here and once you will hit publish the form will get published and you will get this short code so if I go back to forms again you will notice we have this form here in here you can see there is a small gear icon click on that gear icon and then you can click on this copy short code and your short code will be copied successfully now in order to insert that in on a page simply click on pages I want to use this sample page so I'll click on edit with Elementor here so once it will get loaded, I want to use short code widget of Elementor and I'll insert the short code here. And now you can see here we have the form that we have just created using Forminator. So if I preview this, if I fill out this form using the demo informations, I hit next. Here you can see we can insert the URL of any website. So let it be google.com. We can choose any of these services and then I can type in some demo name here. All right, now we'll have to set up some notifications that an admin will get. So in order to enable the notification, what you want to do is to go back to the WordPress dashboard. And then you will click on this Forminator and then forms. So we have created this form. I will click on this edit button here. And from here we'll use this email notification. And here make sure you have this admin email available here. If you will click on this small gear icon, if you will click on this admin, you can change the subject for the form. That can be a new form submission from website. Then you can also change the body for the form as well. Then for the recipients, here you can insert more recipient emails. If you want, you only have to use comma here and then you can insert more email address here. That's it. And once you are satisfied, click on this add button and this will get added. And then you have this integration tab. If you want to integrate some third party email marketing services like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign, you can use this tab here. Then we have this setting tab that allow you to uh, go through multiple options that is data storage so that your form storage will get stored in the database make sure it is checked here and then you have multiple option value keep it as option label and then you have privacy so use the default privacy for submission and everything else looks fine here simply apply, update this and then in the form you can see here is our form if I click on submit you can see it says thank you for contacting us we'll get in touch shortly if I go back here and if I click on this forms again you can see here it says submissions and we have one submission here if I click on this you can see this is the submission that I have just sent so here is the demo information that I have used so in this way you can create a really cool multi-step forms using a free plugin that is Forminator. I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have learned something new from this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you will always get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.